Hello guys, this is me again coming to you to teach you this new lesson. Adverbs. What are adverbs? Okay, you already know some adverbs, but those are adverbs of time, time adverbs, adverbs of frequency. Because to talk about adverbs, we can mention that we use them to know how you do an action, when you do an action or where you do an action and also to determine maybe the um, the way you do an action well in this case you're go we're gonna study how we do an action before that we need to know what is an adverb it is a word that describes an adjective a verb or another adverb that is an adverb they are often but not always made by adding ly adverbs that come from adjectives are often in this way just adding ly now let's see some endings if the adjective ends in y we change y to i and add ly Look at this, happy, that is adjective. She looks very happy. Happily, that is the adverb. He sang happily. The action he did is to sing, but in this case in the past. He sang happily. We are describing how he performed, how he did the action. We focus on the acting verbs. Another rule, if the adjective ends in LE, we drop E and add Y. Look at this. Gentle. Gentle is the adjective. Look at the example. Hugo is a gentle guy. And it is. He is. But gently is the adverb. We are just adding LY, but dropping E to say gently. Hugo behaved gently when he dated the lady. We are describing the action, how he behaved. Now, don't forget it. It's important to remember to use an adjective after a linking verb. Remember from previous lessons. However, this can be tricky as some verb can be used as both normal verbs and as linking verbs don't forget it it maybe it is tricky because you can use it in both positions how let's start with this how we do an action for example look at marge simpson look at the car look at lisa look at homer look at bart what can you say what can you describe in this case? Well, we can say many things. Many things. Maybe the sky is blue. The dress. The dress that Marsh is wearing is color green. Maybe they are yellow. But the most important, the car. Marsh Simpson's car is a slow. We are using verb to be. In this case, is. And... To describe the car, to describe the noun, we use a slow. We focus on the speed in this case. But if we want to describe the action she does, we use the adverb slowly. Just adding L-Y. You see? L-Y. March Simpson is driving slowly. That is. Another example, look at the Spongebob, what is he doing? Well, he's cooking, you know? What can you say about Spongebob? Honestly, he is the best fried cook in Bikini Bottom. He is the best. There is no one better than him. Using comparatives and separatives. He is the best. Okay, let's continue. So, we can say that Spongebob is quick 
fry cook. Well, in this case, it's a quick fry cook. It's just a mistake. It's a quick fry cook. Fry cook or kitchener or the cook. Not chef because he's not a chef. We are describing SpongeBob. We are describing his, his, his how he is in his job. But if we want to describe how he does the action, we just add ly to, to quick, to say quickly. And then we say SpongeBob prepared hamburgers quickly. We are describing how he prepared quickly. Now, what can what can we say about her? Well, she is beautiful, maybe. She is cheerful. She is blissful, happy, um, funny. Doesn't matter. But let's say that she is careful. The careful girl. That's it. We are describing this person. The careful girl. She smells the coffee carefully. We are using careful to describe an action, but as an adverb, it changes to carefully. If you see, I just added ly to the word. She smells the coffee carefully. And pay attention to this. We are using a linking verb. That is your task to research on the previous uh, on the previous info that I sent you. What can we say about Patrick Star? Well, he is dumb, he is pink, he is lazy, he is chubby, he is five-sided because he is a star. But in this case, we are we are not going to describe his appearance. Well, we are not going to describe this noun who is Patrick Star. We are going to describe the verb, only the verb. Patrick Star sleeps because he's sleeping. Patrick Star sleeps deeply. You cannot wake him up. Why? Because he is sleeping deeply. But now, I want to describe the adjective. What kind of adjective? How can I do that? Patrick Star is deeply asleep in this case if we want to describe him we can say the action he, he does in this moment we can say in this way Patrick Starr is deeply asleep he is not drowsy because he, he is not awake he is sleeping we can say sleepy no not in this case because Again, I, 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 I come back to the same. He is currently sleeping. But how? Oh, deeply. So, but in this case, we just uh, describe the adjective. Remember that with adverbs, we can describe the verb, the adjective, or maybe another adverb. In this case, we do not describe other adverbs we just describe adjectives and verbs and something very important we are working with verb to be is Patrick Star is any question you have let me know now what can we say about him well maybe he is old he is um, he's a man no, that is not an adjective but he is old, he is, <laughs> I, I forgot it, honestly. Let's say that he is sick or he is ill. Look at him, maybe he has fever or a flu or another illness. So we can say that he is ill, we're describing him. If I want to describe the adjective, I can say this. He is seriously ill at the hospital. In this case, we are describing the first adjective that we used. He is ill. 
he is seriously ill at the hospital. If we, if you want to know the position of the adjective and the adverb, just uh, take a give a look to the previous slides I sent you about the adjective lesson. Of course, there are some exceptions. Um, in this case, we talk about the irregular adverbs. These are the adjectives fast, early, late, good, hard. And these are the irregular adverbs fast, early, late, well, hard. If you see, they don't change, but the exception is this. Well, that is the adverb. Let's see. Oh, I forgot it. Hardly. Hardly it's another adverb, but it means almost nothing. Remember the adverbs of frequency? Hardly ever or rarely? Almost nothing. That is. In this case, it has a different meaning from hard as an adjective. Lately, in this case, means recently. If we, if we want to... to to do it in this way has a different meaning according to this recently now for example the duck I want to describe the duck okay maybe it is cool it is fashion well it has fashion it is on fashion it is yellow but something important the, fa the fast duck very simple. We are describing the duck, the fast duck. In this case, I am describing the action because the, the duck is running. So I can say that the duck runs fast. The one of blue is the verb. The red is the adverb and the yellow one is the adjective. If you see, they change because in this in the first lesson, I do not have, I do not have verb, no verbs in this case. In this one, I have the verb run, but in the person, in third person, runs. The dog runs fast. Let's see this early. This is kind of tricky, but don't worry, just pay attention. She was early for school. I'm just describing. Describing whom? Her. She was early for school, 6 a.m. She woke early for school. In this case, I am using the verb, the acting verb. Remember the attributed person from the linking verbs are to be. So that's why in this case changes. Here I committed a mistake. It shouldn't be color blue, but anyway. She woke up early for school. We are describing the action she did. Now, I am late or I am late. I am describing myself in this case. I am late. But if I want to describe an action, I can say I arrived late to the port or to the airport, whatever. In this case, it changes because here I am describing a noun. The noun, it's me. I am me late. Oh, I'm late, sorry. Or if I want to describe the action, I can say I arrived late to the port. The next. What about Mr. Lopez Gatel? No, Lopez Gatel. Sorry. What about him? Mr. Lopez Gatel is a good doctor. Just describing him, we know he's a doctor, so we know, sorry, so we are describing the noun, is a good. But if we want to describe an action he does, we can say like this, Mr. Lopez Gatel did well on the conference. You know, every morning he gives a conference, he gives a speech, talking about the COVID-19 disease on Mexico. So, we can say, to describe the action he did, that he did well on the conference. You see how it, how it changes? Next. 
Look at Ultimo Guerrero and qué bonito. What can we say? What can we say? Ultimo Guerrero is a hard wrestler. You know? He's a hard, honestly. Look at the action. We are describing. We are describing the noun. In this case, again, I committed a mistake using the colors. Oh, where is the here? Using the colors, it should be color uh, yellow. I committed a mistake. But anyway, you understand. And if we want to describe the action, I can say Ultimo Guerrero kicked que bonito so hard. If you see, we are describing the action because look the strange look the strange of the kick. He literally flew. He literally flew. He was kicked out of the ring so he could have well you know. The Ultimo Guerrero kicked que bonito so hard. We are describing the action that this wrestler did. And the last, but no, oh no, I'm sorry, that is the, the, that was the last. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, so, well, uh, today at, today at the, today at the evening, we will be discussing on the, uh, on the platform by video call. Any question you have, remember, let me know. So, well, nothing, nothing else to say. Thank you guys, story, and...